People have been using software radio communication for a long time already, so as any radio amateur can forecast wave propagation. For this purpose, the key instrument is the solar activity index or wolf number, which is associated in Jake with wolves. To begin with, let's consider theoretical grounds. Shortwave radio communication is based on wave reflection or reflection in ionosphere layers. The ionosphere is a combination of ionized layers origins resulting from solar radiation. The ionization level greatly depends on the solar activity, which changes at the average period of 11 years. Wolf number is a quantitative characteristic of solar activity, or to put it simply, it stands for the number of spots at the visible side of the Sun. Solar observatories determine wolf number each day and then average it on a monthly or yearly basis. There is one common pattern observed. The higher the emission intensity is, and the more wolf number is, the greater the solar ultraviolet radiation is, which improves shortwave propagation. Wolf number is regularly published, for instance, by radio magazine, so as radio amateurs can forecast radio wave propagation. But what does this mean? Good or bad propagation forecasts? First of all, such forecasts refer to all shortwave bands in total, rather than to any individual band. If there is good wave propagation, radio signals are available almost at all shortwave bands provided required solar activity. The magnetic field and ionosphere are quiet, thus making it possible to receive signals from very remote stations, there are 2-3 half propagation or even more.